Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily use Capsule CRM. So let's start. The first thing you want to do is you simply click here try free. Now when you're going to click try free you have option which one you want to use if it's going to be professional teams enterprise. I'm going to choose a professional right now. Then I'm going to add a work email address here. And if you already guys uh, created your account completely skip this step. So I'm going to copy it and then I will paste it. Get started. Now full name I'm going to go Marcus Stonelius Organization San We. And this is the work email. And I accept custom terms and privacy policy. Now then we're going to see the password that you have to choose. And then you're going to see the, the capsule site address right here. I'm going to click here create your account. And voila. Now in the moment when you come here, what we can see on the top left, we're going to see dashboard. Then we would see the add task on the left. Then we're going to see the people and organization where we are going to add organization and people calendar and tasks in calendar and task. We will be able to see uh, what is actually happening in the future sales pipeline. Here we would have from the beginning, from new qualified meeting proposal negotiation. I'm going to also have, show you how we can add opportunity. Cases, you would find cases right here. On the top right, you can see add a case and reporting. So this is uh, like, th th this program is pretty simple. And I really believe that after finishing this video, you will know exactly how to use it. So what you can also do is go to top right. And when you would click on add, you can add here person organization opportunity case. So let's start with the first thing. And the first thing that we are going to do, I'm going to show you how we can easily set up organization and people here. I'm going to click next to the import contacts. It's going to see add organization here. I would add a name. So name, let's say this is going to be Sun organization. Then we would see also tags here. And you can add like this. Okay. Now what you can do in the moment when you're going to create organization, you can also add a people at organization. Of course, you can also add custom fields here. So people at organization add person. So first name, Marcus Stanelius. And let's say this is going to be mobile phone and you can add email address. Of course, you can add multiple people to your organization. Then you can also add contact details here for work of that organization and email address and web website, social network networks. Click save. Now in the moment when we have the uh, our own organization on the left side, you would see add contact details. No, you can add background info. Then you would see history, files, opportunity and cases. So I'm not going to do it on an organization, but everything like tasks, organization and etc. You can manage it right here. So that's really important. Now let's go to dashboard and here I'm going to show you how you can simply add a task. So on your tasks, I will click add a task here and I'm going to add a description. So this is going to be, let's say, call a client view and we can have like until Friday and then you can also repeat it if you want to and don't repeat or repeat every whatever time. Let's say this is going to be at 12 category. If it's a call, email, follow up, meeting, milestone or send. So this is going to be a call. You can always choose which category you want and assign to me. Now you can link tasks to contact opportunity or case. So let's do that. And here I'm going to write sun. And in a moment I'm going to, uh, add a task in relation to Sun organization, I would be able to see it under my organization and click save. Now, right here, you see in the next seven days, I need to call client. So here you would see all the necessary tasks for that client. 
Now let's go further and I'm going to show you how we can add a person that's really similar to adding a core organization right here. Um, I'm not going to add it straight away because we already added our person for the organization. But what you can do is to simply add a first name, last name, job title, organization, phone number, everything. Now, you can, of course, find filters here under people and organization as from phone number, location, tax, email address. Then you're going to see also the calendar and tasks here where you can simply um, add a tasks. And this is really uh, same. Then we're going to see the sales pipeline. Now, sales pipeline is a fun thing because what you can do is you can, can simply from Kanban go to lists and to have the forecast here. So what I can do is go to top right and let's click add opportunity. Now opp opportunity relays to I'm going to add organization again. Now you can also add contacts and we can have Marcus people at Sun organization. Opportunity name, I'm going to add it. Let's say this is going to be a sales proposal. Mm, sales for office equipment. We can add a description. We can add a tax. And then we're going to have the pipeline. Now, if you're going to have in the settings, you would have more options to have multiple pipelines. And you would find it right here. Then we're going to have the milestone. And which milestone is it right now? If it's a qualified meeting proposal negotiation i can go with the qualified and expected close date let's say 30 of november now when you would close the your own opportunity currency you can change the currency here value let's say this is going to be ten thousand. and if it's a payment terms if it's fixed per hour day week month quarter or year then we can have track none let's click save right here when you have finished your own opportunity and as you can see we see right here marcus people milestone qualified and what i can do i can simply look activity and i can add activity for this of course i can add a task for this and i can simply choose and switch between uh, the pipeline if it's a meeting proposal negotiation i can go proposal i can go next to tasks add a task now when i would click on the sales pipeline i can simply see my opportunity right here and then what i can do i can go to the right and click a new one of course you can make it always one or lost when i'm going to click on one see it's gone as my webcam that was a fun thing what happened right there. So that's how we can do it. Now what you can do is also go to cases. And right here in cases, you can go to top right and let's click on add a case. Again, I can, the case relates to Sun organization. I'm going to see the case name here. and description, tags, and what you want to track. And then click Save. And voila, here we got it. You can always create new tasks for that case. Now, when I would come here to People Organization, I want to show you one thing. And would click on the Sun Organization. You see right here, so we have our own call client task that we link to. Opportunities, sales for office equipment, cases. So as you can see, you got everything covered here. And this is what is really important and really good about this. And that's what you can do. Now, of course, you can go also to reports. And here uh, you would see all the important reporting in Capsule CRM. And that's pretty much it. So you can go also to top right and let's click add. And we all added opportunity case. We can import contacts at a person. And that's pretty much it. Now, right here, you can also go to account settings on the top right and click on the sales and pipeline. And here you can add a pipeline or you can edit it. And you can change the probability 
you can change the days until stale meeting proposal so this is pretty much it how we do it if you can have any questions guys ask me down in comments i'm really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support and yeah have a great day and goodbye this was a capsule crm tutorial see ya